Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Singer Island again, where we spend our fall vacation, partially with family. Today it's exciting. We see a cruise ship coming by right behind me. They are returning from the Bahamas, and it's really nice to see you here with me. Thank you for joining me. You know the equipment. You need a ball and a band. It's going to be chair fitness. And how exciting. I'm really excited to see this cruise ship go by. I hope you enjoy it. And we have, you know, the cruise ship coming by right now, right here, Grand Classica, majestic boat for two-day cruise. They go to the Bahamas. And I'm so glad you're joining me. As always, don't work through pain. Stay in your range of comfort. And um, if you feel out of breath, please stop exercising. Stay in your range of motion. As I mentioned already, we'll be starting here shortly. We'll move to a different location and then we'll start filming there again. I'll see you then. Take care. Okay, good morning again from Singer Island. Welcome to join me in our, on our vacation. We are doing chair fitness. Let's start warming up. We're gonna go on the toes, up and down. Oop, and I better start the workout, so we'll do the half hour. Or about a half hour, that's what we usually do. Up and down on your toes, warming up your calves. Now walk your feet away. You're gonna tap your feet, tap your feet, pull them up, bring them down. Now let's go out and in, get your ankles involved. I hope you can see my feet. Move over a little bit, out and in. We're going to kick and punch, kick and punch, warming up. Loose fist here, especially if you suffer from arthritis. Loose fist, keep your palms flat now, pushing out. Remember to sit with your abdominals tight, upright at all times. We're pushing out to the side. Your legs keep going to the front. How about both arms? A little more engaging. Bring it up. Exhale as you punch. Now let's push, flatten your palms, let's push out, exhale, exhale, don't forget to inhale in between. And bring both arms up, reach up tall, bring them back down. Let's bring it up, deep, deep breath and exhale, and again. And bring it back down. Let's roll the shoulders back, both at the same time. Circle forward. We walked a bee, uh, along the beach the other day and we saw a lot of fish. We saw some sharks even jumping up. <laughs> roll one shoulder back at a time. And I filmed a tarpon moving in on a lot of little fish. So it was really fun walking along there. We saw some jellyfish, but not that many. There are tropical fish out here by the inlet. Bring it up again, arms out to the side, reach and push, reach and push. Keep your abdominals tight, always tight here. And we'll lean, ah, stretch and stretch. Open your arms about that. shoulder height. Twist and lean. Bring it back in. Twist and lean, keeping your abdominals tight at all times. One more on each side. And bring your arms back down. Roll the shoulders back again. So much for our warm-up. We'll start with a band. Everybody should have a band. Oh. <laughs> Bring the band under both feet. Extend your legs out. Palms face each other. Pull back. Hold it. Bring it back. Exhale. 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 
Exhale, as you pull the rear work in your upper back, middle of your back, turn your palms, bring them up to your shoulders and bring them back down. Exhale, bring them up. So we're doing a high row now. From a low row, we went to a high row. Pull up, exhale. Oh, the breeze feels wonderful. We'll go back to the low row. Palms face each other, start pulling, holding, and come back. Exhale as you come back. Eight, we are going for 12 here. Nine, 10, 11, and 12. Turn your palms back to your high rows. If you need to, roll the shoulders back in between. Relax your neck, turn your head side to side. Palms face down, you're pulling up high. Exhale, exhale. We are here at a little gazebo in the middle of Singer Island. Seems to be the meeting place of everybody. Exhale as you bring it up. Exhale. Four more. Three more. Two more and your last one here. Now you get to relax your hands a little bit. Relax, shake it out. Hold your palms tight in the middle. We are going to one side. Come back to the other side. Step out. Bring it back, step out, bring it back. Be careful that the band doesn't slide off your feet here. Slide over, bring it back. We're repeating four more on each side, please. Three. Two, keep your abdominals tight at all times. Last time on each side, come back in the middle. Bend your knees, relax your legs a little bit. Shake it out. It's usually nice and quiet here at the beach and it's a beautiful spot to be. But today we have a little gathering here. So you might hear those people in the background. Exhale as you pull up, bring it down, exhale. It's beautiful to live on this island and come down here to the gazebo and meet, exhale, bring it in, exhale, working your triceps right here. Two more here. We'll switch sides, move the band to your right hand, hold it, you're doing double the work, elbows in your waist, pull up your band and bring it back down. Exhale as you bring it up. Oh, the breeze is beautiful. It's nice. It's about 82 degrees here. It's the middle of October. Nice time to be here. Four more here. Three more. Two. Last one. Bring it back down. Roll your shoulders back and turn your head again. Relax your neck. Let's bring your left foot on top of your bend. Left foot only, bend your knee, hold your bend tight, really short, so you have a lot of resistance and extend, bring it back. Extend and bring it back. Ten and two more right here if you're able to. Last one, bring your leg back down, shake it out, switch by putting your right foot on the top, take your left foot off, make sure your bend is under your arch, bend your knee, hold it short again and extend your leg out and bend, extend and bend, exhale as you kick it out. And two more coming up here, two. Last one, bring it back down. Relax your legs, we'll get rid of the band for a little bit here and we use it later again. Place it by the side, 
let's get your balls. Just toss and catch nice and easy at the beginning. Relax your hands here. Turn the ball if you can as you toss it up. Toss it side to side, nice and easy. Now hold the ball between both palms, elbows out to the side. You're pushing together. Work your chest here. Keep it tight and relax. And you exhale as you push it together and relax. Push together, exhale and relax. We'll do four more. Three more, two, and your last one. We did this exercise chest height. We are placing the ball down on your lap, just above. Hold it here. You're working the lower part of your chest now. And you exhale as you push here too. Hold, push, isometric contraction as you hold it. Then relax again, push, <coughs> excuse me. Five more right here, five, four, three, two, and your last one. Relax your hands, relax, move the ball in your hands, nice and easy. Change the circle in your, or the rotation of the ball in your hands. Now place your palms on the top, pull it out, sitting tall, you're twisting to your right. Come back to center and go right again. Back to center. Make sure your abdominals are tight. One more to this side. Come back in the middle, reverse the ball, place your palm on the top. Right palm is on the top now, twisting to your right. Keep your abdominals tight as you do your rotation. And your last one, relax your hands here, roll it. Place the ball between your knees now. And we'll squeeze it right here, push together. And on the stripes, you can see how much I am pushing. The wind's pretty nice, but the wind is taking my equipment. <coughs> push together, hold. And again, we do this isometric contraction here. Push and push. I'm guessing a boat is going by, yes. Nice, beautiful. It puts you in vacation mood. Just being by the water at any given time, out in the fresh air, and just watching the palm trees move in the wind is going to be nice for you. It's uplifting. Hold, squeeze. Hold, squeeze. We'll do one more here. Exhale. Hold, squeeze, bring it back in. You're going to kick one leg up and bring it down. Kick it up, bring it down. Exhale. As you extend your leg, work the top of your thigh and the inside of your thighs. Bring it up. Eight. We are doing four more on this side. Four. You can do it, three, two, your last one. Bring it back down, take the ball out briefly, relax your legs a little bit, take the tension out, place it back between your knees and extend your leg forward, hold, bring it back down. Exhale, good, as you bring it up. So you're pushing in and you're extending your leg at the same time. Point your toes, point your toes. Halfway through, we'll do six more on this side. Six, five, four, three, two, and your last one here. Bring it down. Take your ball out. Relax a little bit. Shake out your legs here. We did your inner thigh. We did your outer thigh. We did the top of your legs. We have to work the back of your legs. We'll do this with some squats here. If you have an arm ch a chair, place your palms on your arm rest, getting up with me all the way, and then you're sitting down again.
you exhale as you come up, you inhale as you come down. Your feet are parallel. Watch that your knees don't overshoot your toes as you do these squats. Keep your abdominals tight, your upper body is straight. How about six more for everybody? If you can, take it. You know, if it's too much for you, just take a break. Join me again whenever you are ready. We'll do four more here. Three. Two. Your last one. And bring it back down, shake out your legs, excellent job. Extend your left leg forward, hold it, point and flex your toes. Working your calves and the front of your thigh, or front of your leg, I'm sorry, lower leg here. Point and flex, point and flex. Keep going. We're doing four more here, three, two, and one, bring it down, let's switch, point and flex, point and flex. You should feel this in your calves and the front of your lower leg. Two more, and last one, bring it out, shake it out, relax your legs. You can even massage them a little bit by giving them a little tap on the top on the inside, on the outside one more time. Relax your legs, we are doing your bicep next. So take your bands again, place both feet on top of your band please. Make sure the band is secure so it doesn't snap up on you. Elbows in your waist, you are sitting tall, palms face up in this case and you are bringing it up to your shoulders and slowly lower again. Exhale as you bring it up, inhale as you go down. Remember to keep your abdominals tight at all times. Last one coming up, take it down, relax your arms a little and always relax the grip too in between. Recover your wrists or let them recover a little and your hands, your fingers. Holding on to that band is sometimes hard, especially if you do a lot of resistance and you have to hold on very tight. We'll do a hammer curl, palms face each other, alternating, one at a time. Bring it up, bring it up. Don't swing it, nice controlled move as you come up and down, exhaling. Four more, three more, two more, last one. And I usually don't do this, relax your hands a little bit, but I want to give a shout out to my cameraman, Stephen Mayer, my husband. <laughs> Maybe you want to come in the picture just for a minute here and say hello, my dear. So this is Stephen. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming in. We'll do an upright row, cross that band over, in front of you, you see an X as you look down, sitting upright, pull it up one at a time, exhaling. I think the cameraman and I make a great team. <laughs> Four more on each side, please. Four, three, two, last one. And bring it down, uncross your bands. Now lean forward, bring your elbows on your, your forearms and elbows on your thighs. Leaning forward, curl up, pull up the wrist. Or you can sit upright and do this. Keep your elbows in your waist and curl your wrist up, working your wrist. Working your fingers here, very important, so you can 
open and close bottles, for example. And I'm talking water bottles, as you know. Turn your palms around, pull up here, reverse. Reverse curls. Working your forearms, your wrist. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Let go of that band. We are done with the band. I'm placing it by the side. Beautiful yard coming by. Shake out your wrists here. Relax a little. Circle. Take the tension out of your wrists. Let's do the other direction. Easy, gentle. We are going right into some sit-ups. Cross your arms over your chest. Lean back. Touch the back rest. You're sliding forward in your chair for that. So you can lean back. Pull your abdominals in as you come back upright. Lean back. Exhale as you come up. You can make it a little harder by bringing your arms out in front of you. Longer level, more weight. So this is a little harder. Keep your palms facing down. Exhale as you come up. Inhale as you go back. And if you want a little more action here, you can circle your arms around each other, your hands, and then go backwards as you go back. Forward and back again. Forward and back. This is your last exercise, and we are doing some stretching here. And back, forward, and back. Last time for everybody, bring your arms out to the side. Lean down, drop your head down, relax your neck, stretch your lower back. Oops. <laughs> Come up slowly. On the top, I'd like you to twist to your right. Place both palms on the outside of your thigh. Twist and hold it right here. Come back to center. Let's do the other side. On the left, sit tall, twist and hold. We'll do it three times on each side. So come over to your right again. Twist and hold. Let's do the other side. Twist and hold. Last time on your right, sitting tall. Keep your abdominals tight as always. Let's do it on the left. One more time. Sit tall. Hold it. Bring it back in the middle. Roll your shoulders back. Ah. We'll do your upper body. Bring your hands together. Rotate inside out. Push away. Round your back. Drop your head down. Relax your neck. Come back upright. Let's do it again. Exhale. Push out. Pull those shoulder blades apart in the back. Separate them as much as you can. Relax your neck. I repeat myself, but that's really important. Come back upright. Open your hands out to the side. Push out. Lock your elbows. And flex your palms. Turn your thumbs back. Oh, feels good. Even for me. Bring it down. Now lean forward and let your arms dangle down. Just let them circle outside your bodies here. And then change the direction of your circle. Come back up. Bring one arm across, bring your second hand right close to the wrist and pull your elbow gently to your right in this case. Now extend your right arm, bring it across, bring your left elbow up and gently pull. Bring both palms down. We are extending your left leg first and then your right leg also. Both legs are extended, place your palms on your thighs. Lean forward, stretching the back of your thighs here, pushing down. Feel the stretch in your lower back, your hips, your hamstrings, and even down into your calves. Come back up, bring the soles of your feet together, and push on your knees, opening your hips even more. Come back upright, bring your feet flat down. I'm going to hold behind my left knee, pull it up, circle your ankle so you get two for one here. And the other side. If you can, pull it across a little bit your leg, feel it in your hip as you push your leg across. Bring it back in and down. We'll do the other side. We're almost at the end here. Thank you for joining me today. Pull it up and circle your ankle. And we'll circle the other direction. Pull it up a little higher. Then bring it across a little, pushing. And relax, bring it back down. Inhale, take a really deep breath and stretch up tall. Pretend somebody's pulling on your arms, right, left, 
right, left, one more time. And re reach and lean, like the palm trees or the palm fronds in the wind here. Last one, and bring it back down. Three deep breaths and you're done. Thank you, bring it up and bring it back down. I hope to see you for my next workout with you and we'll see where we are taping from next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thank you again for joining me. Take care. Bye-bye.